really fun. Spicy and fun. Hey, we're going to give the ladies a few minutes to yeah. wrap their head around no, the strategy and think about this workout. He's and uh, when we come back, we're going to get down. Yo, welcome back, guys. It's Kyle again talking 19.3. We're going to go over my initial reaction to the workout, my strategy, my score, and what I would do different if I were to do it again. So I hope you guys have been out there bending bars, making PRs. Let's get into the video. Thanks. 19.3. There it is. Dumbbell. Is you're going to have to do a little bit of work. Oh, boy. In a certain amount of time. Okay, here we go. 10 minutes. You have 10 minutes to Too complete long. a 200 foot. No, that wasn't it. Bruh. Hands down. No, I'm lying. It is a 200 foot. Bruh. Overhead dumbbell lunge. Oh boy. Okay. What do you not too, Chef? I was expecting that. I don't know. Two 50 yeah. pound dumbbells. Okay. We're going to keep the dumbbell Same and hand. go with 50. Dumbbell box step ups. No. Oh. Oh. My legs are Now, guys, hurt. it's time to flip things upside down. Okay, I can do it with a handstand push. We will make our way to the wall, and we're going to do, we're going to keep it simple 50 handstand push ups. But hold on, hold on. There's a twist. These handstand push ups. Are like your parents. Oh, they're strict. Up. They're strict. Yes. yes. Finish off the workout with a quick 200 foot handstand walk. Those step ups are gnarly. It's, it's simple, folks. Once again, you're going to have to finish that in 10 minutes. Sandy, how do you feel about that workout? I want to get there first. Yeah, I mean, yes. that's true. <laughs> Spicy and fun. Hey, we're going to give the ladies a few minutes to yeah. wrap their head around no, the strategy and think about this workout. He's and uh, when we come back, we're going to get down. All right, so just watched the open announcement. I'm headed to the car. I think the overhead lunge is going to sneak up on people. I didn't get to look at the standards yet. I think it's maybe two dumbbells. That kind of changes things because it's hard to independently um, stabilize those guys. What I'm thinking on the step up is it's kind of slow and steady. Make sure you're not going too fast. Just get that work done. Then on the handstand push up, small sets. The last thing we want to do is go to failure and turn them triceps into triceps. Because if those bad boys get fried, ain't no coming back. So I'm going to give it a go tomorrow and I'll check back in shortly, let you know how it goes. All right, y'all, so I'm here at the gym. I just finished up 19.3 in between classes. If you wondered what I did for my warm-up, you can see it here. I pretty much just went from biking, doing some lunge variations, and then into some step-up variations, and then finally finished off with some handstand variations. Uh, I stuck with my plan. I went nice and steady on the lunge, nice and steady on the box step-up. Didn't stop, even though the legs were kind of getting a little tired towards the end. I initially thought I was gonna do fives on the push-ups, but after the first set, I was like, you know what? I need to go to threes. And then about halfway through, I started to go to twos, and I actually even failed a rep. So break it up early. That seemed to be the way to go. If you head on over to my video of the actual attempt, you see that I finished with like five seconds left before I get to get in any handstand walks, but it's a shoulder burner. My triceps are definitely now fry steps. So give it a shot. Let me know what you think. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you wanna share or even see more videos, make sure that you subscribe and leave a comment down below. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.